Hey Scorpio and welcome back to the journey of self. I am your intuitive tarot reader as well as your host Brandy and this is the journey. All right so here we go. What I've done is I've pulled six cards from the Isis Oracle to kind of give us a little glimpse at the energies, the tests, and the experiences that you guys may experience in 2019. All right um, maybe it'll help us get ready for this energy to receive it or to um, help it leave a little bit faster. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is I pull these six cards and then I'm gonna clarify on camera, okay? The first card that you guys have out is the power over seven scorpions. A little bit ironic, right, for the Scorpios. This is about conjuring. This is about your ability to change lower vibrations into higher vibrations. And right now we have the Nine of Swords coming out. I feel like you guys um, have been worrying. There's been some worry, which is echoed again by the Five of Cups and then the Hermit. I feel like you guys are seeking the truth and have been seeking the truth. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys are, are, you know, probably looking to either find the truth, spiritual or educational. You guys are looking for that newness looking for the light and then we have new opportunities if you guys can master this if you guys can master this ability speak your truth it'll lead you to a decision that will bring renewal to your life that is a decision the decision to be able to to change when you're in a low vibration being able to come out of that vibration and going into a higher vibration. They say sometimes that Scorpios can go to a really dark place there and that still waters run deep and all of that. And I believe that. So it's so fitting that this would come up if this is to be for the year to come. Okay, stay true and be in your power. All right, uh, we did get a glimpse of you speaking your truth, right? So let's see what this next card has to say. What areas of life this might affect. A bunch of cards flipped out, way too many. But I did see the Knight of Cups. Maybe you guys are interested in somebody and not really thinking or wanting to say it just yet. Maybe you guys want to make an offer. You guys are in an advantage position and you want to take a new direction. Go ahead, take that direction. That, that's clarifying. Stay, stand in your power and stay true. All right. Then you have the temple, the Tempest of Lapis. This is about protection. And also about who you are in the world. All right. I'm just looking for... Now, it's saying don't go about it foolishly, but if you would like to go in a new direction, go ahead, but use temperance. Temperance will allow for healing. Temperance will allow for moderation. The Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficient, sitting pretty, a bird in the hand, wonderful things. Okay. I think that you guys are going to find yourselves, you know, let me see here. I want to kind of look at, I want to look at that temple card. This card talks about you being an old soul. This card talks about you being an old soul. Uh, the, the card of Lapis. I think you guys know that. That's why I hear Scorpio. That's why still waters run deep. I feel like Scorpion children, especially um, People say that a lot of Scorpion children, that they have old souls, as well as Aquarius children. 
and then Aquarius even as adults. Okay. So you have the King of Swords, which makes sense. And then you have the Empress. I feel like you guys are really going to start really taking some inventory this year. Really going over some things. You guys are fruitful. You guys are stable. You guys have two kings and the empress. It's looking real good. It's looking really good. If you guys can tap into, you know, what your soul is really trying to tell you this year, your higher self. You guys can go to some amazing heights in your life. Get some amazing fertility as well as stability. Calculating, um, stable moves, lucrative. As far as business goes, if that's what you're interested in, you can do that. These two cards are twins. I feel like you guys are tired of the hustle and the bustle. You're bored. You're bored. You're looking to kind of settle in. And know exactly what side your butter your bread is buttered on and know exactly where your next meal is coming from and all of this other stuff like that. As far as love goes, I think that that's part of it as well. Some of you may have been living a lifestyle where you were on the move a lot, you were hustling a lot, you know, just trying to make ends meet and things of that nature. And now that's changing. And then we have the Truth Unveiled card. I feel like not only are you seeing yourself for who you are, I feel like if you're with someone, that they're seeing you for who you are as well. This is a beautiful thing. Because everybody wants to be loved for themselves. Oh my gosh. These cards are out of control. All right. So... I feel like you guys are making a decision. These two cards just came out again. I feel like you guys are making a decision that will definitely bring renewal to your life. But there may be some legalities. Um, unfortunately, you guys may be bored where you are and therefore uh, be seeking a change. There may be some legalities involved. I'm just shuffling my cards to make sure that we're getting a fair mixture. Oh man. Okay. Let's pull a few more cards for this card. Let's clarify a few things here. Because I think the message is plain, but let's see what's going on. Because these... <laughs> These, these four cards came out like, uh, hello. There may be someone in your life that you either want to offer love to. I don't know. For some reason, I'm wondering if it could be somebody from your past. Or maybe you have children and you want to get married now to this person. But there could also be someone who... Um, no, 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 no. This has nothing to do with this part. This is this is the new the new offer. I was wondering where the emperor was because you know we had a king, a king, and the empress. The empress and the emperor go together. She's not a queen per se. She's more than that. And I think that this is what this is a relationship that you would like to recognize. So you may actually be looking to give this person some recognition. Maybe you have um, you know the person that you have children with. You're ready to marry them and make it official. Maybe it's somebody else, like an Aries, that you're looking to get, um, you know, into a relationship with. However, you feel like this relationship is going to, um, it's something that you want to recognize and you feel like you're going to get the attention that you need as well in this relationship. But it looks like other things may be ending so new things can begin. Maybe not for everybody. For some people, you're just beginning something new. For others, something has to end in order for you to do this. So the next card is into the healing chamber. I feel like after you guys, um, hmm, or 
Truth Unveiled, and that came out. That brought me, it brought me back here because now when I'm looking at this, um, this healing card, I'm wondering, you know, if it's, it's, it's not just striking me as maybe just something to heal from in general, it may be from this situation. You guys may, um, you, not that it's a bad thing, but it's going to happen fast, I feel like. You guys are going to maybe get out of something and move on quickly. All right. Into the chamber of healing. Okay. You guys should be careful of hollow victories and be careful of taking things that necessarily don't, that are not going to suit you. It may look good, but it's not necessarily good. It's an illusion. And then, and then hollow victories, winning at any cost. So make a decision. However, don't do it in such a way that you're being brutal to the person who gets left out in the cold. Because I feel like this is a decision in reference to like relationship. You may decide to just, you may even decide to be alone for a while. But if you like one of these people, I would suggest that you don't make either of them cry and, and that you, you know, you, you do it in a gentle way. Yep. And this, this decision is going to end in legalities, whether it's contracts, divorces, marriages, whatever it is, this, this is going to end in some type of legality. So be careful the way you do things. I feel like for a while you guys might be stuck, but I feel like you guys are going to end up offering your cup to someone else or having a cup offered to you. So this year I can tell you guys are probably going to solidify that that love, but be careful because there could be some worry involved. I don't know. Well, obviously I do know that it's not necessary, not necessary because it is swords, so it's just thinking worry. If you guys have concerns, voice your concerns, look into them, investigate, talk to your partner. And I think you'll find the answers that you seek. You can't find them on your own. So keeping it to yourself and wondering on your own is not gonna help you. Talk to your partner, see where their head is at, see what they think. You might find out you feel the same way or you or have nothing in common at all. I don't know. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. True sun veils into the chamber of healing. All right. The last card is the soul retrieval card. You guys are going to be calling in pieces of you that have been lost. So this year is not all lost. You guys have some really crazy personal protection going on. You guys, whatever your truth is, stand in it and you'll be successful. You do not have to feel guilty and you do not have to worry. But Comically, just be nice to other people. Be nice. You don't have to stay. I said be nice. I didn't say be stupid. You understand? Be gentle. Think about your moves. You do have great ideas. You are more innovative than you've ever been in the past. Yep. And more resourceful. Yep, old cycles are ending and new ones are beginning. These cards keep flipping out. I feel like it may happen fast, but you guys will find will find new opportunities and they will be lucrative. And not only that, you will you will be getting the reciprocation that you desire. All right, Scorpio. You guys are looking for an even match. That just that's just something I just heard. You guys are looking for an even match, and I think you guys are gonna find it. This has been your reading. Okay. 
Now, if you guys would like a personal reading or a more in-depth reading for this, you guys can make your comments and get in contact with me in the comments below. Um, feel free to subscribe. You guys can also come over to my website, thejourneyofself.org. That's where you guys can get your personal readings as well as your manifestation jewelry. The jewelry that helps you bring certain energies into your life through the stones and the jewelry tags. All right. This has been your reading. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and namaste.